Called him Blinky Boy. Mm -hmm. He knows how happy it makes me, and I, I really do think that's part of the appeal for him. <laughs> the more I laugh, the more he snorts and wiggles. <laughs> so I adopted Bub almost a year ago. He had come from some really traumatic situations, so he was extremely shut down. He just was not acting like a real dog. And it was really awful to see, and just all I wanted was for him to start showing some happiness. So we took things slow and come out of his shell. He had some pretty bad separation anxiety, so we were crate training him, and we put a really soft pillow and blanket in there. And so one day I did the usual routine of letting him out of his crate in the morning, and he came out and then turned around and went right back in grabbed his blanket and dragged it out and he was just smiling and wagging his whole body just snorting like a little pig <laughs> and he was just so happy he was so happy he couldn't express it on his own he needed to get a prop to show us or to present us with some kind of gift <laughs> so he did a lap around the house just snorting and wagging his whole body with his blanket dragging it the whole time and then he finally dragged it back to bed <laughs> That kind of started his whole blanky boy routine. So every single morning when he gets out of his crate, he'll grab either his blanket or his pillow and just, you know, do a parade. <laughs> Hi, baby. No, no, let him sleep with me. <laughs> And he also started doing it anytime I would leave the house. When I would come back in, he'd be so happy that he would grab whatever was closest to him in his mouth and do another parade. do a wiggly lap around the house just snorting and showing off the shoe before he'll finally give it back to me. Simon kind of took note of what Bub was doing. About a month after we brought Simon home, it was so sweet. He started doing the same thing. <laughs> and Simon decided that he also wanted to have something in his mouth. Now at this point we're being greeted by two snorting, wiggling hippos. <laughs> you guys. Hi. Hi, baby. What you gonna get? You gonna get my baby? Thank you. What are you gonna get, Simon? What are you gonna get? Oh. You got the monkey? Thank you. <laughs> I've become a huge bully breed advocate since adopting these two dogs. they see these two dogs that, you know, could look terrifying from the outside, just wiggling and carrying toys in their mouth like innocent little puppies. It's, it's impossible to have a bad day when you wake up to that sight or when you walk into the door and you're greeted with that. Mm -hmm.